Hey guys, it's Harley. Today's video is going to be all about how I water my hanging houseplants. I do have quite a few hanging plants in my collection in my home, primarily because I have that canopy bed, which I've kind of filled up. I know it can be really overwhelming to keep hanging plants watered. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I do. I do have my week of plant care routine video coming out next week. Here's a little like teaser, I guess, of my plant routine. Mondays are devoted to my hanging plants. So on Mondays, I only take care of my hanging plants. So this seems to be a really good system for me and it's easy to manage. So that's what we're doing today. I know a lot of us like to put our hanging plants into macrame because macrame is so cute. If you want to put your plant in a macrame, I would definitely, definitely recommend putting a saucer at the bottom of it because otherwise when you water it, of course it's going to get all over the floor and then also the macrame will get wet and that can cause mold, which we do not want. Just before all of this, be sure to put saucers underneath plants that are in macrame. That makes it a lot easier to above the top water without having to worry about a mess. Just do it a little bit at a time so that you're not like overfilling it so the saucer is going to drain out and get all over the floor anyway. So just take it a little bit at a time, fill it up till the saucer's full and you're good to go. For all of the other hanging plants, I know me personally, I like to keep them in the nursery pots until I just find the perfect pot I love and then a macrame that goes with that pot. Yes, the plants that are in their nursery pots of course have the open bottoms. So if you above the top water, it's just going to get everywhere. What I like to do for those type of hanging plants I have in my home in just their nursery pots is I like to bottom water them. I'll just use that one day a week to bottom water all of my hanging plants and here's what I do for that. But right now since it's warm I follow this process outdoors on my patio and if it's cold I follow this process in my bathtub indoors. What I do is I'll either have a plastic tub outdoors or I'll use my bathtub like I just said and I'll fill them up a few inches with water. If possible collect rainwater. Plants love it. Use the rainwater but if not it's fine to just use the tap water. So just fill up the tub a few inches with water, probably like three or four inches ish. It's not really a big deal for how much you put in there. You can always just fill it up some more if it's not enough. Then I will just take off all my plants and sit them in whatever container I'm using to let them soak. So just sit them in there, leave them for a while. I usually check in about every 10 to 15 ish minutes and normally I leave them in there for 30 ish minutes just to make sure they are super adequately watered, especially during the warm months where they dry out a lot more quickly. I'll just check them every so often to see if the soil is getting wet. If the soil isn't getting wet, you can break up the soil a little bit with like a chopstick or something and it'll help the soil absorb moisture more. This mostly happens with plants that don't need water as frequently I found. Sometimes the soil like clumps up and it won't absorb water. So if you break it up a little bit, that'll just help with the absorption. Absorption? The absorption of water. I'll let them soak and then I'll just leave them to soak until all of them have moist tops of the soil. So once you notice that the tops of all the soil is darker than it was before and it's a little bit damp, that is when I will let them dry. So if I'm watering them outdoors in the little plastic tub, I'll just pull them out of the tub, let them sit on my little patio back there to dry and let the excess water run out for probably a few hours. Um, you can also, sometimes I'll do this if I'm in a hurry and I don't want to leave them outside while I'm like out running errands or something. I'll just, I'll lay out a dry towel and put all the plants on them to help absorb any of that excess water so that it's not dripping on the carpet. That's a really, a lot more of, it's a lot, it's a lot more, why, why can't I freaking talk? It helps the excess water drain out a lot more quickly this way. Uh, but of course, then you have a towel you need to wash. So if you have time, just let them sit out there and soak and drip and whatever, and it'll be fine. But if you're in a hurry, use the towel. And then if I have them in the bathtub to be bottom watering, then I'll just drain the tub and let the plants sit in there until they're no longer dripping water. It also helps if you kind of pick them up and like bounce them a little bit. It helps any of that excess water drain out the bottom. So gravity. Good old gravity. One of the really great things about doing it this way is that it also gives you a chance to like spray down your plants. Spraying down your plants can help deter pests, primarily spider mites. Spider mites prefer a dry environment, so if you're taking this time to spray down your plants, then the odds of getting spider mites go way down, I promise. So definitely worth it to do that. But if you don't wanna go through all this effort and even if like one week you're like, I cannot, I just need like a break. I don't wanna move all my plants around all day. You can also just put a bowl or something underneath your plant so that the excess water you're giving it can 
drain into the bowl. Me with my canopy bed, I can't really do that because it would drip half on the bed and half on the floor. So I'm kind of stuck moving them every time, but I'm completely content doing that. If you just have them hanging above a regular floor, you can put a bowl or a bucket under there to collect the excess water and that'll work just fine. I do get a lot of questions about fertilizing when I bottom water and I do fertilize them every single time I water them, probably March through like August. The fertilizers I primarily use are this fish fertilizer, which my plants have absolutely been loving. The one thing to note with this is I wouldn't recommend using this if you're going to be watering them in your bathtub. I would use Espoma because it doesn't smell as bad as this, uh, but if you're watering them outside, then they'll definitely, definitely love this and you won't have to worry about the smell, but I'll just read the instructions on the back of the bottle for mixing and, and then I'll pour them into the plastic tub outside so that I'm getting the right measurements. So I have really been liking this because I have been watering my plants outside, but again, I use this during the winter and then I'll let the plants soak it up out there and they really like that. But of course, if you're just watering them from above and you're like putting the bowl underneath or the saucer, then you can of course just mix it in the pitcher and water straight from the pitcher. Pretty straightforward. I know it seems overwhelming, but it really, really isn't. I promise. So I think that that is it for this video. I'll probably remember some stuff later on that I forgot to mention. I do that every single time I upload a video. If you have any additional tips and tricks for watering or fertilizing your hanging plants, please leave them down below. We would all really, really appreciate it. And then also I want to know how many hanging plants you have in your collection. I'm going to go count how many I have. One sec. I'll be right back. I have 23 hanging plants in my collection currently, by the way, which I will also link the how I hang hooks from my ceiling video in the description box as well. If you want to watch that and make any of your like just standing pots, hanging pots, click on that and I'll show you how. Well, my husband will and I'll kind of show you. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!